Needing positivity all around you Many life struggles trying to hold you down When your goal is being great to push through dark clouds That try to tear you down Why they want to tear me down? Aries! <laughs> Ram gang we in this in this thing I say up ram uh, uh, gang we in this in this thing I say up ram uh, uh, gang we in this in this thing I say up ram uh, uh, gang we in this in this thing I say hey what you doing here if you ain't looking for no Aries we stay turned up we be talking about them Aries gang shit only gang turn up for Aries Pop that, shake that, crank that, turn up for Aries. Aries, what's popping, honey? Did you miss me? Hmm. Hmm. Because I missed your motherfucking ass. Listen, honey. This will be a timeless energy check-in reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers and the North Node of Aries, honey. All right? Hey, boo, if this first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this first time to my channel, look out, you guys. I cuss, okay? May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell this lick read, what the hell these cards say, okay? But definitely, I'm going for cuss, all right? So, if cussing don't work for you, please feel free right down now to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can furtherly assist you without cussing, because it's my shit. I'm going to do that, all right? Thank you for the likes, the shares, and subscribe. Subscribes, the comments, the love, the reading requests, the donations, etc., etc. I'm appreciative from the most humblest space ever. Thank you so much, Aries. Okay. Also, if you're new to the family, <laughs> hey, honey, <laughs> we're a little dysfunctional over here. Okay. We don't fight and fuss, however, we leave that shit on other people's channel. Okay. Here, we love, we grow, we evolve, we share, we enlighten, positive vibes, or we cuss, bitch. Okay. Positive type of things, positive vibes only, we family. All right. If you need a personal reading, that information will be found uh, below within the description box eventually. It's one me, a thousand, a thousands of you guys. Let me get there, okay? All right, I'm going to get there. But it's going to be in the description box. Or you can do your due diligence and go to the description to the description of another fucking video that I've done, okay? And it's there. It's there already. I got to play catch up, okay? Without further ado, Aries, let's jump the fuck into your reading, okay? Aries, 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 I have a few intuitive messages for you all. I kept getting the Jamie Foxx song, and that's my shit. It's called, um, I don't own the rights to this song, but it's called, um, it's, okay. They say I got it bad, addicted to what we had, heartbreaks low, fading fast. I know it goes, um, I overdose. That's what it's called, overdose. Overdose, overdose on you. Because I want you close, need you the most. Without you, I'm just through. So I overdose, overdose, overdose on you. Okay, so some of y'all could be dealing with a Sagittarius bitch. That either you overdosing over this person or this person is overdosing on you. I'm picking up on the energy of somebody didn't expect to have the feelings that they have or someone sees you with new eyes. Or maybe you're seeing a situation or there's a need for you to look at the bigger picture as it pertains to seeing a situation for, from a space of new eyes or seeing a situation or seeing a circumstance, person, place, or thing through the eyes or through the spectrum of love, okay? Pink could be very significant, Aries. For some of you all, you could be uh, really tapping into that rose quartz energy, okay? Self-love, unconditional love, love, mastering love within the self so that you may um, share that love or teach others how to tap into that energy as well, okay? I'm also hearing something having to do with creativity, creation. Some of you guys could be working on something, working on something new, expanding a current business that you already have because a lot of focus on expansion. I kept also hearing... Um, overwhelming okay overwhelming flow uh, overwhelming influx okay so for some of you all who have your own business you may notice that as we jump into um i, I am here in mid january okay for between january and march some of you all are going to experience a major transformation as it pertains to business um how you see how you see fulfillment how you see security how you see your own security within self or how you see 
how you align with security within self is something have to do with like security self some of you all this could also have to do with some type of like self-esteem issues or confidence okay some of you all could have recently had babies congratulations honey mocha love the kids all right but some of you all could have recently had baby i am hearing something having to do with like um Something having to do with like weight gain, okay? Some of you guys was dealing with a fucking asshole who is making you feel a bit self-conscious about your weight, all right? For some of you all, this could also be you wanted to go or move towards some type of industry or um, industry as it pertains to like beauty, modeling, okay? And maybe there's like a little bit of insecurity as it pertains to weight. Some of you guys could also be researching holistic ways, um to actually detox your body. I am picking up on something having to do with detox detoxification and you guys really doing things within rationale or moderation, okay? So, um, I'm also hearing Aries, don't walk away from your drink, okay? At the New Year's party, for those of you who, who, who's uh, been invited to a New Year's party, especially if you're being invited to this New Year's party and it's like by people who you haven't talked to in quite some time, maybe you're reconnecting with people or rekindling something, I am hearing watch your drink at the New Year's party. That's for who that resonates with, okay? For some of you all also, I'm also picking up on something having to do with checking up on the attire. Some of y'all got a bitter baby mama or a baby father, okay? A bitter child's fucking parent putting fucking tax underneath your tire i'm literally seeing tax so if, before you back your motherfucking car up okay if you've been uh, if you're an aries who've been having to recently recent like recently like continuously fucking replace tires you got somebody intentionally fucking laying shit um up under your damn tires i am hearing that it would be beneficial for you to get a fucking rain camera okay for some of you all i'm literally hearing old friends so this could be a bitch that you cut off or you cut this person off and then your life begin to upgrade you got a new vehicle you got all new everything and the bitch is mad because as you were growing somebody was motherfucking slowly fucking decaying okay aries I'm also picking up on irritation. Like some of you all, your growth makes people irritate. There is someone who could be in the same field as you, Aries, but your growth like really pisses somebody the fuck off. I'm also hearing your comeback. Your comeback is really like disturbing the motherfucking demons that live within individuals. Like some of you all are triggering people's shadow side at this time. And that's not your motherfucking problem nor your concern, Aries. But if you're noticing that people are kind of acting a little weird as you're beginning to like flourish and like really rise and like really grow i am picking up on this energy of like really being in the flow of acceptance when it comes to like closing chapters and letting motherfuckers go for some of you all you've already mastered this okay some of y'all could be teaching other people to do this okay some of you all are spirit teachers a spirit a spiritual teachers i'm also hearing um something having to do with dietitian nutritionists okay healthy lifestyle some of you all could also be fitness trainers as well or wanting to start some type of like i'm hearing fitness boot camp some of you all could be attending this or actually being the coordinator of this okay but a lot of focus around uh again i'm also hearing something having to do with that digestion digestive health okay some of you all may need to connect with the herb dandelion. Some of you all also, again, a lot of a lot of focus around purification, detoxification, or detoxing something out of your body. For some of you all, this is actually you teaching people how to fucking detoxify their fucking jab out their body, okay? Some of you all could also be dealing with someone who could be like a spiritualist or a tarot reader. For my Aries men, okay, I am picking up on the, the men of Aries. Some of y'all could be dealing with a spiritualist or a tarot reader who could be a fucking mutable sign. Virgo, um, Gemini, Pisces, Sagittarius. Someone is like a master of illusions, okay? I feel like some of you all are feeling like are you getting mixed signals or you're getting mixed messages from someone's energy because this person is like a puppeteer. I am hearing the man, I'm talking about the man in the mirror okay so um for some of you all someone literally mirrors you or mirrors your energy whoever this is you're a magician and so is this person however this person works more so out of their shadow aspects and that's the motherfucking like that's the goddamn like confusion because i feel like for some of you all someone's trying to manipulate the god that is working through you aries this could be somebody projecting and making you feel like you crazy or like you be motherfucking, you know, you, you, you kind of be a little bit all over the place when it comes to some of the things that you're picking up and you're asking this person about. Someone also feels interrogated or they're under interrogation when having a conversation with you. This person is very interested in you and they really want to grow with you, but at the same time they feel as if they're being interrogated and it's kind of making this person push the fuck back. 
And I am here for some of you all. This is you blocking your own fucking blessings. Because for some of you all, you still, it's like you're experiencing love and you have the opportunity to call new love into your life. However, you still living in the motherfucking past, bitch, where there was motherfucking bullet wounds and broken motherfucking windows and areas you don't live there anymore. You're cheating yourself out of the experience of a blessing that you prayed for, that you manifested, okay? As it pertains to love. Some of y'all is like, fuck love, bitch, what a bag at, all right? There's a lot of focus around career expansion, growth. Some of you all may work in the healthcare field, or maybe you're going back to school to further your education around something having to do with healthcare. I'm here in healthcare administration, okay? Again, dietitian, nutritionist. For some of you all, you could also be holistic practitioners as well. Some of you all are wanting to start some type of... Um, workshop or some type of seminars or you could be attending this as well but there's a lot of focus around like furthering your education okay some of you all could have recently got your bachelor's congratulations okay and maybe you're going uh, after your master's i am hearing something having to do with like um i'm hearing debt 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 some of you all are okay so i heard something about governmental grants so this could also have to do i'm hearing single mom's grant single mom's grant i picked that up before single mother's grant some of y'all are needing to do your research when it comes to, like, where you live and, like, your state and, like, um, the different grants or programs that they have available when it comes to starting new businesses or furthering education, okay? Also, I am picking up on this energy where some of you all could also be studying behavioral disorders. Some of y'all could be dealing with someone who still have, who still has a sense of, like, some, some of y'all dealing with somebody who's very institutionalized. Some of y'all got big homie in your motherfucking bed, bitch. Some of y'all got... Big homie, all that bitch. Somebody in the motherfucking bed, bitch. This could be somebody who could have been recently released from some type of incarceration, okay? For some of you all, I'm literally here in military, a military background. So for some of y'all, this could be someone who struggles with um, PTSD. Someone's still traumatized, traumatized or they haven't been deprogrammed is what I'm hearing. So whoever this is, Aries, some of you all may be afraid to like sleep in the same room or someone's afraid that they're gonna hurt you about your sleep or some of you all are dreaming about this upon someone's returning home some of y'all also have somebody that's getting out of jail early and you may have to break some bad news to them that you actually like found someone else or you're interested in someone else like some of you all don't want to be the bad guy but something's inevitable okay I'm also picking up on shifts. Some of you guys have blessed hands. You could actually be like energy healers, okay? I am hearing somebody has a life purpose around children. I'm hearing something having to do with like nonprofit organizations or like advocacy. Some of you all could actually be speaking for some type of cause, okay? Some of y'all could actually be doing this with family or with the fam with a long-term friend. Like the, the, I'm hearing 10 years of better. So this could be someone who feels like family, who pretty much is family, your connections, okay? I'm hearing frequency healers, frequency, frequency. Some of you all have the gift of music or you're tapping into creativity. Music could be of significance as well. Some of you all want to share something. You're really excited about sharing something, producing something. But there's a fear around not knowing how it's going to, per be, how it's going to be perceived. Some of you all are really like... Some of y'all are really needing to work on, like, as we go into 2022, some of y'all are really needing to work on not needing so much validation outside of your motherfucking self. Because for some of you all, this has been something that has kept you stagnant when it comes to something that you really love for quite some time. Some of you all, you could have Chiron in the third house. How you express yourself, there could be, like, issues around that. So some of you all tend to, like, suppress what you feel but at the same time get mad at the motherfucker because they didn't automatically know i am hearing something having to do with connectivity how you connect with others is going to be significant some of you guys could be starting spiritual platforms okay some of you all could also be in the space of i am hearing something again again psychology psychology behavioral disorder some of you all are studying about narcissists co uh, various types of narcissists personality disorders okay some of you all literally have a life purpose to be teachers. Some of you all are spiritual teachers. I am hearing master, ascended masters. So this could be those of you who have a life path number 11, 22, 33, 44. That's going to be significant. Some of you all are being called or thrusted into a position of leadership. All right. And there's a need for you to embrace this, but understand. And congratulations for those of you who are being promoted um, or being, again, ascended to higher heights. All right. 
a lot of focus on um i'm mean, also hearing something regarding esoteric downloads dream interpretations some of you aries may actually have a, a combustion of like three cardinal signs in your chart so you can be an aries with maybe like a libra moon or a cancer moon with a capricorn rising or some of you all could be like an aries with a cancer rising with a cancer moon and a leo rising i mean some of y'all could have leo rising but a libra rising Again, a lot of focus on leadership, building something innovative, something being very inventive, okay? Some of you all could also be working on some type of like a technology platform. Tech support could also be significant. Techie, 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 hacking, ticking, okay, hacking, 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 tracking, stalking, tracking. Something about your phone is significant, Aries. Someone could be using some type of like software or spy software to find out or get some type of clarity regarding an affair. Someone could also have someone following you as well, Aries. This could be the mother or father of your children. Someone wants to know who the fuck. I'm hearing who the fuck that nigga. Who that nigga? Somebody want to know who that nigga is. Some of y'all could be dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Bill, Sagittarius. Some of y'all could also be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with that. For some of you all also, I am picking up on, again, some type of sudden realization, some type of epiphany, being able to connect the dots and put the pieces together. Some of you all, there's been another, okay, so I heard Puppet Master. Some of y'all dealing with a very manipulative motherfucker, and I feel like instead of, some of y'all, you the manipulative for a motherfucker, okay? But some of y'all dealing with a very manipulative motherfucker, instead of actually, like, saying what they feel or, like, coming to you and asking you something, it's like they're using other people to kind of, like, put together the pieces of the fucking puzzle, or they're using other people to start, like, controversy with you. If you have your own platform, someone is not coming themselves. You could have blocked this individual, the actual person, but somebody has somebody, somebody's, Stalking you on behalf of a friend. <laughs> People got too much time. Okay. Aries, I'm also hearing either you're going to have time or you're going to have money. You can't have both. A motherfucker with a lot of time ain't got no motherfucking money. And a motherfucker with a lot of motherfucking money ain't got no motherfucking time. You have to really discern what matters most to you. Because for some of you all, you feel as if you have to choose between love and money. Or someone feels this way with you. But ultimately, I feel like there's a power struggle within the whatever dynamic this is. Because I feel like someone's not used to dealing with an independent individual. Someone is used to, need, like someone needs to be needed. And I feel like you or something a little different. The things that they don't like about you are the things that they love about you until it actually affects them. In a way where they can't manipulate you or manipulate you with money or manipulate you to move a certain way. And I feel like someone is kind of like losing their patience with this. This could have already happened. And if somebody did this to you, I feel like someone's coming back around the spring to rectify something. And they're going to be actually willing to work on fucking something with you in order for you guys to be able to grow and build an empire together. Because this is somebody who have their own empire. You got your own empire. I'm feeling like some type of serendipitous event is something that you can actually expect in the future as it pertains to like spiritual connections, beneficial contacts. Again, you manifested this. Some of you all, something that you manifested around the 888 portal. I'm also hearing 1111. It's going to be actually coming into fruition starting the second week of January. For some of you all, it's going to actually start in Aquarius season in February. For some of you all, some of y'all could actually be astronomers. Some of you all are teaching or like connecting with doing like some type of birth chart readings or there's a need for you to get some type of birth chart reading that would be beneficial to you at this time. But I'm also picking up on this energy of <clears throat> some of y'all could also do like nails. Like cosmetology, makeup, beauty, being that industry. Some of y'all could also be starting some type of like um, beauty vlog or platform surrounding like holistic ways to like take care of yourself. Like I'm also hearing something having to do with like the hygiene as well. Aries women, some of you guys are crushing on like you could be single. This is for my Aries single women. Some of y'all having to choose. Like, you could be in a situation where you have one person that you like, but at the same time, their friend like you. I'm picking up on the energy. Well, whoever, the one that you like is the one that's going to give you that back bacterial vaginosis, bitch. Okay? I strongly heard BV. Okay? BV could be of significant. For some of my married Aries, some of y'all could actually be having some type of epiphany regarding someone cheating. Okay? Through, you know what I'm saying? The motherfucking... Through okay, some of y'all could find out somebody's cheating through some type of like STD or the revelation or the popping up of some type of STD or you contracting something from another person. 
all right and i feel like it's happening this is this feels like something that is definitely curable okay but it's happening to force them up because some of y'all intuitive it's like you can this is the type of motherfucker that you can like if you didn't tap them on their shoulder bitch you could have seen pictures you could have had a private investigator follow this motherfucker you could have motherfucker you could have bitch i seen you see me see you cheat and this motherfucker will still look you dead in your eyes and tell you <laughs> babe that wasn't me <laughs> I know Aries, don't go to jail because immediately I balled up my like <laughs> it's who you playing with, bitch. I ain't your mammy, stop fucking playing with me. You get what I'm saying? Some of y'all, you dealing with somebody who will cheat on you and then blame you for cheating on you, bitch. Like this whoever this person is, I'ma tell you what they got what they got a whole bunch of. The fucking audacity. They got audacity, bitch, in the plentiful. The, the, the audacity, bitch, in their world is plentiful, okay? Because I strongly feel like this is someone... I'm hearing covert narcissism. I'm also hearing something having to do with sociopaths, okay? Whoever this individual is, you're having a hard time because due to the history that you have with this person, you could also have children with this person. Whoever this person is, you have a hard time, like, letting this person fully go. It's like... For some of you all, you're waiting for the shooter drop, or some of y'all is like waiting on somebody to get karma, but it's like you can't heal in the same place that broke you. So it's like whatever the fuck is happening, it's like the straw that broke the camel's back, and it's like the divine working through you. Some of you all, you are the tower, you are the you are the catalyst to this person getting their motherfucking karma, but it's gonna happen when you up, bitch, and leave. You get what I'm saying? You gotta go, Aries. And for some of you all, you're finding this, and you having to you finding this out, and you having to accept this. In a very uncomfortable ass motherfucking way, but ultimately, they want to, your guys are wanting you to get serious. Aries, is what it is that you is what it is that you've been manifesting. Okay, well, what it is that you've been manifesting. Truth be told, bitch, you can lie to you can put it on, you can lie to everybody else, you can fucking fake the Aries. You know we got a hell of a poker face, but at the same time, you can't deny your feels. Something is very something is very much so crystal clear. I feel like some of you all are no longer mad at the individual. You're just disappointed. But spirit is wanting you to transmute that disappointment and actually get the lesson out of the situation so that you can be motherfucking transformed and fucking ascend to your blessings. This person still got some karmic lessons to work on and work through. I am hearing something having to do with someone needing to heal some type of childhood wound around abandonment as well as molestation, sexual trauma, sexual abuse. For some of you all, you could be moving in the field of advocacy regarding this, okay? A lot of 12th house energy. Some of y'all could have Neptune possibly either in Pisces, Aquarius, maybe even Virgo as well. I'm hearing this, you're passing the test, or you passed the test of Saturn, Aries. Now it's time to ascend to the next level. And your growth is going to make a lot of motherfuckers uncomfortable, okay? So let me go ahead and get a, um, a lot of focus around prosperity. Also, Aries, don't deny what you feel. Don't deny your emotions. There is power in your feels. Some of y'all dealing with a motherfucker who is a master of tarotmancy. Uh, so much so that I got to talking about this person's fucking illusions earlier in the reading. And I completely like got the fuck off the fucking subject. It's like this motherfucker threw me for a fucking loop. Some of y'all is dealing with somebody who knows that you're watching them. Or maybe you know that this person is watching you. But someone's manipulating like... The facts. They're, they're, they're gassing, okay, a particular relationship up that's fucking karmic. You feel this karmic. You know it's karmic, bitch. Karmic events happen when you connect with this person. Like, somebody is a complete fucking, like, magician. This is somebody who knows that you watch them, and they know how to manipulate the energy within the tarot cards, okay, or within the oracle cards. So this person works with energy. This person knows how to manipulate, to, to, to manipulate also to, um... This person knows how to manipulate energy. Bitch, I couldn't even think about the word I was going to say. Spirit, give me a, a crystal angel message for Aries. Okay. So you guys got healthy communication and relationships. Heart-to-heart -heart discussions and clear assertive communication help you understand and be understood. For some of you all, this is um, Aqua Aura. Okay. For some of you all, this is about also speaking up about... Uh, okay, so somebody is not showing up to be present within the household. Aries, for some of you all, there's this fear around asking for help and communicating that you need help. For my Aries who are dealing with financial issues, know that this will this energy will fucking clear the fuck out. I am hearing something about Aquarius season is going to be significant. For some of you all, you're being forced to rest. You're being forced to actually motherfucking create a plan before you... It's like I just read in the Hoodoo Tarot, and this is a, a beautiful 
truthful statement. If you fail to plan, then you can fucking plan to fail, okay? For some of you all, you're being called to like step back and reassess how you were fucking moving, how you were building the foundations in which you were building on in the past and being realistic with yourself. What did you learn from this? How did you grow from this? How can we fucking, how can we create, re recreate a balance within the foundation of that in which we're building, okay? Again, also, I am hearing something having to do with transitioning into a new industry. So, some of you all, Aries, could actually be getting in. I am hearing something regarding uh, feminine hygiene products, okay? Some of y'all, this could have to do with, like, womb cleanses, yoni eggs, okay? Or there's a need, there's a lot of focus around the womb, birthing, birthing creations. Something that you're actually creating or birthing is actually going to be like the catalyst for the growth of another industry. Or also this is this is something like very multifaceted. Like for some of you all, this could be you are actually teaching about a particular product, and actually, it's like this feels like bringing like like combusting or like bringing like about two to three industries together in one. Okay. Something that you're doing on a, like a platform, okay? I'm also hearing media, videography, mediography, okay? Bitch, you got citrine, abundance, unnecessary worries. Some of y'all could be using crystals also to manifest, again, money mantras, subliminal messages, a lot of focus around frequency. Some of you all, there's a need for you to meditate or you're having a hard time focusing around meditation. Some of y'all could have, be single mothers, okay? Release the burden of worries by giving them to God for healing and solutions, all right? Also, I am here in Aries. Put some respect on the God that's working through you. For some of you all, it's like the divine is literally using you as a catalyst of truth in order for a whole motherfucking ripple effect to occur. For some of you all, this could also have to do with some type of exposure or standing up for yourself regarding some type of harassment or discrimination within the workplace. Maybe you don't want to go against, maybe you get into it. It's like, well, bitch, I'm not getting into it with the employees. I'm getting into it with the motherfucking owner. For some of you all, you've been manifesting money and I feel like some type of situation that involves a lawsuit literally fell in your motherfucking lap. It's like, what you ask for may come in an uncomfortable ass way, but ultimately, if you fucking follow through with it, it's actually going to lead you to a position of comfort. Some of y'all is being called a sewer bitch, okay? Sewer bitch. This could be some type of institution, corporation. I'm here in hospital. I'm also hearing something having to do with like some type of defects of a BBL. Some of y'all could have also got your tubes tied and you find out the bitch your tubes and came up uh, look under fucking loose and maybe you had health issues or it's triggering some type of health issue and some of y'all like, well, you know, that was my mom and them doctor and that doctor birthed me and they got, well, listen, bitch, listen, bitch, it ain't the doctor you suing, it's the whole fucking practice, okay? Something having to do with malpractice or something being discovered um, that was done incorrectly or something like that was, something that was not lawful, Aries, okay? Yeah, stay strong in your faith. The faith of a motherfucking mustard seed will move mountains. This is a time frame where your faith is being tested here, okay? The uh, Dolomite. Stay strong in your faith. A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. It's like... For some of you all, if you expect the worst, then you're going to create the worst. A lot of, a lot of, like, a lot of focus around, like, the mental prowess, your mental energy, your ability to, like, think things, speak things is actually very strong right now, Aries, and they want you to use that energy wisely, okay? Use that energy wisely and most, and most importantly, to your fucking benefit, okay? So let's get into it. I'm going to pull a few of these. I just realized I've been talking for a whole fucking 27 minutes, bitch, and I'm tired. Y'all know I'm... I'm going to drink my damn coffee and lay down with Maria Juanita and fucking lick on the council. You hear me? Listen. All right. Some of you guys could be moving states. Some of you are also, there could be something coming out regarding inheritance, uh, inheritance wills, okay? Or actually like bringing some type of clarity or some type of ending of a divorce settlement as well. Someone could also just be up and fucking like someone could be wanting to move out, Aries. This could be you. Some of y'all have a hard time telling somebody you don't want me. Bitch, I don't, don't, don't want to be here no more, bitch. I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't like your raggedy ass mama. I don't like the dog, bitch. I don't like none of y'all up in this bitch. Some of you all could also be mediums, okay? Some of you all also be very cautious about reconnecting with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone could literally be trying like, I'm hearing obsessions by any means necessary. Somebody could be trying to trap you. To make you cut off a third party, okay, or fuck up your, and sabotage your relationship. That could have been someone's ulterior motive. 
I'm also hearing something regarding paternity, okay? Someone could be secretly DNA testing a child due to some mother's influence as well. Aries, for some of y'all, this is going to be fine. For some of y'all, it's not going it's not going to end well, sis. But whatever the fuck is happening, it's like karmically meant to actually happen, my baby, okay? Creativity. So there's a focus around creating what it is that you're creating, okay? Some of you all are creating something from the ground up. Some of you all, or there's a need for you to like reassess some type of strategy that you're currently taking as it pertains to building something or expanding something that you're already doing all right a big focus on vision and the expansion of your vision for some of you all this could have to do with the mastery of your spiritual gifts your psychic awareness or heightened intuition okay i'm also hearing claire gustin's claire audience the ability to hear spirit some of you all are inheriting spiritual gifts i'm also hearing you inheriting spiritual gifts from someone who could have crossed over a feminine energy this could be a grandmother okay or this person is assisting you when it comes to like stepping into your stepping into your true north or your life purpose this could have to do with like again making uh, uh cooking up some type of um, herbs concoctions okay infused metaphysical pro uh, uh me metaphysical uh products this could be jewelry amulets uh amulets talismans I'm hearing evil eye pendants. Some of you all may sell this. Are you creating some type of online workshop? I mean, online uh, boutique where you sell these items, okay? Some of you all could also be doing some type of online workshop or hosting this. Didn't I tell y'all? Some of y'all could be in media and productions, videography. How you put yourself out there. Some of you all, I'm hearing you need to be your own music, be your own muse, be your own damn brand ambassador. Some of you all could be, some of y'all could be spending a lot of money paying models when you find this fuck. Sell your own products, Aries. All right? Some of y'all dealing with a fire sign that's a fucking liar. This person wouldn't be able to tell. If they life depending on them fucking telling the truth, they'll be a dead motherfucker. Some of y'all are literally heard Libra, okay? Some of y'all I'm also hearing Pisces. Some of y'all I'm hearing Sagittarius, Leo. Someone's like pretending like they happy because they don't want to lose the whole fucking comfort around security and stability. They like the money, but they don't like the fucking responsibility that comes with being a fucking father or a mother or being a fucking... A uh, reciprocal partner in a fucking relationship. Somebody's emotionally fucking abusive, okay? Some of y'all Aries could be shopping for a new vehicle. Or somebody's motherfucking in a bag. Somebody been acting real weird since you got a new vehicle, alright? Some of you all could also be looking very heavily into numerology alignments or some of you all are also working working with the universal flows in order to like co-create or you're co-creating with the universe based on timing i'm also hearing spells moon mad moon magic invocations incantations symbolism being significant okay some of you all could also be experiencing psychic attacks. Some of you all are um, researching various ways to uh, protect yourself, okay? Using some type of herbal divination or some type of like... Um, I'm literally hearing hoodoo, voodoo, symbolism, amulets, pendants, protection, okay? Some of you all also, if you work in the public eye, there's a need for you to really like heavily... You are protected by all fucking means. 444 could be of significance. 777333 Aries 1111. Okay, some of y'all this is involving a collaboration. Some of y'all are in two minds about a collaboration because I feel like whoever this person is, check their fucking intentions at the door. Because someone's saying one thing, but ultimately this person is like planning to fucking run off on the plug twice. This could have been someone who you tried to work on something with in the past and it didn't motherfucking work. For some of you all, this is the need to like be open to delegating your fucking task and actually like be open to assisting, allowing someone to help you. Some of y'all Aries is running off somebody who was sent to you to be a stepping stone and actually invest in your fucking business but you're such a fucking asshole that this person you make you pushing this fucking person away and you literally pray for this blessing some y'all getting a two for one you getting love and motherfucking money where you don't have to fucking choose but because your past won't allow you to accept this within the present which is robbing you of your whole fucking experience of the future okay yeah some of y'all got a water sign, bitch, that's intimidated by your shine, okay? Females are intimidated by your shine, all right? But at the same time, they admire your strength, all right? Some of y'all got a motherfucker mad as hell, trying to manipulate some type of uh, child support documents or the fucking process of child support. Some of y'all could have been dealing with somebody who was running from child support or running from a DNA test so they don't have to fucking pay child support. I feel like someone could have actually forged some type of document or... All right. Some type of illegal shit that somebody did is coming back to bite them in the ass, Aries. This could be a jealous child's mother or father, okay? Somebody see you looking good, smelling good, being successful. And it just bothers their whole motherfucking being, their spirit, Aries, okay? 
I'm also picking up on this energy again. Massive influx, massive growth, growth within your consciousness, your awareness, your whole entire esoteric being. Some of y'all are very celestial, okay? I'm literally hearing something having to do with glitching, auric fields, okay? I'm hearing trans-dimensional being, multi-dimensional being, souls code, or like regeneration of the souls code. Esoteric wisdom, you guys, like naturally walking into things in which you know, even though you've never studied, okay? So give me some advice for Aries. Advice for Aries. Courage. Archangel Ariel, be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. For some of y'all, y'all gonna have to get up. I thought... <laughs> I thought a fake ass Christian said something. Some of y'all gonna find out that somebody ain't so motherfucking Christian. The person who's been trying to block your money flow, Aries, is somebody who you would not fucking believe. I'm literally hearing family. But that's okay because what God has for you, no man can motherfucking take, break, or motherfucking slow down, stop, or manipulate, okay? Gifts from God, Archangel Sandifon. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive, Aries. It's a time of receiving. Expect the worst, you're going to create the worst, and that's what the fuck you're going to live the worst. Spirit is saying this is a time to be optimistic and really only claim great things, only pour into things that actually assist you on your soul's journey, assist you in growth. If it ain't helping you grow, what the fuck is it there for? Assets and liabilities, Aries. It's time to weigh it the fuck up, okay? So let's see who y'all dealing with. Capricorn is at the top, so some of y'all could have Capricorn in your chart or be dealing with one. Give me some... All right, Pisces rising. This could be your placement of the person that you're dealing with, okay? You guys got Aquarius rising. Scorpio. Gemini. All right. Tell me, shuffle. I'm going to get y'all like three more. Then we getting the hell out of here, Aries. Okay, Capricorn want to fall out again. Capricorn. Gemini moon. Aquarius, Virgo rising, Virgo moon, Sagittarius rising, and some of you all may have a cardinal north node or the person that you're dealing with does, Aries, Capricorn, Libra, or Cancer, okay? So Aries, that's all I have for you at this time. I love you long time. I pray that this reading resonates with you all. Okay, some parts I do not, bitch, but it's for who it's for. Okay, and uh, until next time, I pray you guys had an amazing holiday season. Um, Merry Krima for those of you who celebrate Krima, Krima. Happy motherfucking Kwanzaa, okay, and Happy New Year, honey. Happy Western New Year. I'm going to tell y'all last again around birthday season, but I love y'all. I'm sending you all peace, love, a whole lot of light, a whole lot of motherfucking prosperity wishes, baby, as we motherfucking hurdle through and persevere into 2022. Till next time. Bye, boo.